My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, you look great. Two necklaces. We're back. Back in studio. Look at you. Look at me. Look at us as we can be. Jake, let's go to the sports. James, huge sports match. The Savannah Bananas, friends of ours, we went down there. They're always up to something kooky down there. They are and they aren't because clearly rule number eight a banana ball states that if a fan catches a foul ball, it is an out, and we got it for the last out of the game, and it's a pretty incredible scene. The batter? Dustin Baber. Dustin Baber. Three, Wait, is two, it Baber? One, Six and 11, a half. Dust, is it Baber? I'm also assuming it's Barber, but we we missed it. Dustin Barber would make more sense. Anyway, he's upset. He sees the fan catch. It's like a hot shot down the line. The fan makes a nice grab, and he's like, uh, throws his batter. But he got bad, because he knows the real rule, which... When we went to the Savannah Bananas, one of the fans oh, caught no. a Savannah Banana foul ball, and we interviewed him with one of our more pressing questions we've ever interviewed a guy with. Sir, what the hell? His wife left him. I like the Savannah Bananas. You, you could be on the fence, be like, eh, this is too much. Eh, eh, I, I don't like fun. But when you see them bring him on the field and celebrate, because he's now part of the team, everyone gets one over. Well done, Bananas. Don't put that in. Blur the whole thing. Put it on loop. Banana, 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 like that. Banana, 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 banana. Jim, what was this almost a breakdown that you said you were a part of, so you wanted to bring to the office? I wasn't a part of this, but I wish I was. I wish I was there. A Atlanta man attempt to rob a nail salon, nail first salon. <laughs> ad? Yeah, yeah, it's an ad. <laughs> he did the Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner uh, hand inside of a bag. Yeah. I got a gun in here. No, you don't. And the women just don't respond at all. He barges in. He says, give me all the money. Money. And no one moves at all. There's a look at him like, what? Yeah. And the guy is so confused. He's just looking around like, I said, give me your money. Put the money in the bag. Put it in. One woman stands up, tries to leave. And he's like, you can't leave. I'm robbing this place. And she's like, ah. I might leave. She doesn't run away. No. She just goes outside the glass door and just stands there, which I love. Usually a guy comes in with a gun. You run. You get real far away. Scamper. She's like, you know what? She was just getting fresh air. Yeah. Really tough for the robber. I didn't yeah. think I'd feel as bad for him, but I do. Oh, because uh, his boys just, are going to see this. He just gets stunted on, and I don't like using that word either. Make sure you blur that whole thing out. Uh, can you put that in, like, a uh, gang? Like, uh, oh, he gets stunted on. He just gets stunted on. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a documentary. Yeah, like a gang, gang documentary. member doesn't want to reveal his identity. Good stuff. You can... Uh, Go to SeatGeek to get tickets to the next robbery of home runs. We had a member of John Boy Media win a baseball game the other day. Our friend Trevor Plouffe, three, two, one, four, four and a half. Yeah. yeah. He won a baseball game. The first sideline reporter That's to tough, win a baseball game. Plouffe is a good last name. We had a fan win a game for a team, and now we had a sideline reporter win a game for a team because Trevor Plouffe used his 11 11 wish on Alex Kirilov to hit a home run, and he did, and then he points him out in the booth. And the Twins win this game by one run. Trev's crushing it. I know that you hate Trev and you would never want to compliment him ever. No, no, no. He's doing this. He looks hot as shit. He's the hottest thing on Minnesota TV ever. It's awesome. And this was like a very genuinely cool. Sometimes I have to step back and like, would I find this uh, wholesome and cool if I didn't know Trev personally? And I think the answer is, I would say, yeah, that's a really fun moment. And I love that Trev, when he stands up, this is my favorite part of the whole thing, has the glove in his hand. Right. Because he gets a lot of shit from that. People don't know. Oh, he brings a glove to his game. Yeah. He's owned it so much. He's bringing, he's wearing a glove in the, the booth. You know, who told him to do that. You. Yeah. yeah. This pro baseball player is pointing to a former pro baseball player who used his 11, 11 wish to say, I want you to hit a homer. Well, Trev is basically a dying kid in this story. Dying kids have similar tales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is not sport. Uh, your favorite animal in your favorite California town. An otter in Santa Cruz is hassling surfers and stealing their boards. This is an awesome story. This is a story that Love I would have made up. And people would have said, Jimmy's making up stories again. But I did not make this up. So there's an aggressive sea otter in California. It's ripping surfboards out of the surfer's hands. It's like, it hasn't been anyone yet, but it's being very aggressive towards, towards the humans and their boards. Make sure we circle up on the biting. I'd like to talk about that. One, their terrain. You're in water. You have to get out of the water. They live there. Where this story gets amazing, and I think Zach doesn't know this yet, and he's going to perk up, is that this sea otter has a name. It's officially known as Otter 841. This sea otter was born in captivity because its mother also was unfriendly and attacked humans so they put the mom in jail she's pregnant Otter in jail. jail has 
a criminal child. And then after a while, they're like, you know what? I think this, you know, the sin of the mother should not be on the, the child. They release Otter 841 into the waters. And now he is avenging his mom. You put my mom in jail. I don't like you. Yeah, I think you're you're putting a lamestream media tone on it because, like you said, the otters have the water. Like, mom wasn't a criminal. Mom was protecting her land. That's exactly what I'm saying. You just said her mom was a criminal. She's not. Well, that was me mom speaking was on kidnapped. behalf of the humans. That's what I'm saying. When that's I why speak I was, on behalf of 841. That's why it was lamestream media. I'm saying we got to tell the real story here. Like, these otters and their family, his mom was protecting their land. Now he's protecting their, well, water. Not land. The humans, the humans are spinning it as, hey, you know, we actually need to look out for this otter and get him out of here because if he bites someone, then we probably have to kill him. And it's like, well, you're just full losers then. You're not looking out for the otter. Oh, no. Like, they're they're literally bumping elbows with, like, the loser surfer being like, dude, let this otter bite you. Let the otter bite Put you. Put 841 in jail. Let him have a kid. See what happens. They're going to make a whole army. I wouldn't want to do that. Which leads us to our employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Bom, 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 bom. O-T-W. E-O-T-W. E -O -E -O we'll blur that whole thing out. <laughs> there goes 15 minutes. It's Jeff. It's Jeff. <laughs> Jeff DePalma. Huh? Jeffy DP. <laughs> Bye. Come on. You didn't even say why. You tell him. It was All-Star Week, so a lot of people were eligible candidates, but Jeff stepped up and edited our All-Star Game vlog. So go watch that. And uh, Zach loves Jeff. Choose a card, any card. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode was brought to you by SeatGeek. Do it in a better voice. Today's episode was brought to you by SeatGeek. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. And we've got the hookup. Use code DUMB for $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DUMB. Click the link in the description to download the app. Babe Ruth did it for a whole orphanage. Was Babe an orphan? Yes. Is he like the number one orphan if we did an orphan draft? Ooh, James. Giant Peach is an orphan, right? Might be the last. James or the Peach. Babe Ruth was an orphan. The guy who took him in's name was Babe, and they called him, that's Babe's kid. And then that's how he got his nickname. He played for like a Catholic school where he was 14 and just beating up on all these like loser religious nerds. He went from playing against his local Catholic schoolboys at 18 years old, to playing in Major League Baseball. Babe Ruth, cool story if you haven't heard about him. Check out the link here. Put a link to Ask Jeeves.